I've got something for you guys that I haven't done in a little while. This is another Can You Troubleshoot. And in case you're new to the channel, what this is is I'm going to show you some footage where something went wrong with my copter, and I want you to do your best to troubleshoot what went wrong. Now, the goal here should not be to come up with the right answer. As you know from troubleshooting your own copters, usually just the first time you see something go wrong, it's not always obvious what the right answer is. And you gotta try a few things. So the goal here is to go through a troubleshooting process in a methodical way that helps you know you think about the problem correctly, that helps you notice the right things and let those things lead you in the right direction. Whether you actually guess the right answer or not, it's oftentimes just a matter of luck. So even the best of us have to guess two or three or four times and try things out before we finally figure out what the actual problem is. And I'll tell you something, I haven't solved this one yet. I have a guess as to what the first thing I'm gonna check is, but I don't actually know what the actual cause is. But that's okay, because like I said, that's not the point. Well, I'm sure you'll be curious, but I don't know. So here's what I'd like you to do when you watch this video. I would like you to do your best to describe what you see happening in as objective and dispassionate a way as possible without drawing conclusions about what it means. First, just make observations. And then after you have made observations, then think about what the conclusions and you might draw from the observations are. A lot of times when we're troubleshooting, we get so caught up in, oh, I saw this happen and what does it mean and what does it mean? And you go down a bunny trail and you may you may color your uh, your observation of other things. You may not you may not notice other things because you've already got a story built up in your mind as to what you think might have happened. And so when I start a troubleshooting process like this, the first thing I, I do is I just set aside my conclusions about what it might mean and just try and come up with an objective and dispassionate observation of what happened. So do that first, and then give me your guesses as to what you think it means and what you think I should troubleshoot first when I troubleshoot this. And it does, the, the cornering feels more precise. Whoa! Well, that was interesting. That was interesting. 